Anyway, hello, Internet. We are now recording for episode, I want to say, 110 of Enter the Dungeon. Who wants to, and we, um, who wants to give the recap of what happened last time? I think I'm the only one qualified to give the recap. Yeah. <laughs> How do we know I didn't get this? Uh, we're the only one. <laughs> yeah, All right. I have a guest. <laughs> Say hi, Ash. Hi. Hi, Ash. Hi, Ash. Anyways, so the recap, which I... There was no pre-recap, so there, this is a bit unfair, even though it doesn't really matter. Anyways, what happened last session, we defeated... What was it, the ice level? No. No, the shopping... Okay, before that was a ice level, and then we fell into a shopping level. Or, I guess, shopping level that was kind of a break that we were able to buy the stuff from... Um, to which I think I bought five potions. You didn't buy any that potions. I don't remember. I don't remember the specific. You didn't, you didn't end up buying. I didn't buy any potions. potions? Am no. I am I stupid? I sold a bunch of stuff though. Yes. Well, I guess I neglected my own health. Either way. Um, after the shopping level, there were two pipes to go down. One had the clue, the hint of something getting, I don't know, what was it? I don't remember. The sizing up or sizing clue. down. Sizing up or sizing down. And so, based off of that, we didn't know, so we just went down the sizing down. Both me and Earth we were jumping into the pipe of sizing down. Mm hmm And do you remember what happened? I got smaller. Yes. Which is saying something. Sizing down. I Just like uh did you try are you insulting? Either way, I'm smaller, and I guess I'm absolutely tiny now. And I thought it was an Alice in Wonderland reference. Might be. Who knows? The DM would know. Who's to say? Drew's to say. <laughs> okay, and um, Fitch, you actually do notice a problem. Because for the moment, you're alone. Oh. Oh. Uh, I look around. <laughs> okay, so on your fall down, you notice that you seem to be in a gigantic bedroom, because you noticed a bed near you. Mm-hmm. As well as a chest across the um, room, and what you assume is a table. You can see the legs of it. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Let the maps commence. All right. Uh, Raven, go search around the room. You are faster than I am. Okay. So, yeah, your Raven's so doing a complete perimeter? Yeah. Yeah, from your raven's eye view, you know, so this is definitely some kind of bedroom. Huh. How tall I am compared to the bed? Um, let's see now. You're normally, what, three and a half feet? Yes, I think so. So this bed seems about 12 times taller than you. That's mm -hmm. tiny, Drew. That's really tiny. Yep. And you begin to hear something crawling out from underneath the bed. Oh, my. 
Um, yep, just poking out its head. Seems to be some kind of centipede-like creature. Actually, no, you probably can't tell that from this. Um, how familiar is Stitch with centipedes? Hmm? I don't know. How often are centipedes existing in this world? As much as the normal world. You know what? Not, in that case, it just looks like a giant worm-like creature with a bunch of legs. And thorn and a horn, almost. That's the bad news. Oh, okay. I, what's the good news? The good news is, or at least you assume it's good news, is that a few moments later, someone falls in the room right next to you. Uh, a very strange-looking drow man. Hello, you are? Wait, drow? Uh, describe, describe his appearance. I don't, my character does not know what a drow is. Cool. I guess I'm gonna describe what he looks like then. I wish I actually had thought about this. Um, give me a moment. Um, so this this drow man, uh, he's he's got pretty pretty dark skin. It looks almost like 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 um like the night sky and he's got he's got some hair but it's cut pretty short and it's white uh he's wearing he's wearing a um green tunic and uh, i must take you for an undead <laughs> nice. or yeah no i must take you for an undead <laughs> and i'm like ah i'm very wary of you right now Person? Who are you? Who are you? Are you Actually, part of this trial? If anything, wouldn't um, Ash? Wouldn't your character be more likely to suspect Stitch since he was here when you landed? Because Chris, so far, no new threats have fallen through the pipe in the sky. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's true. Except for the bodies that I've been putting through. Yep. Except for all the bodies, don't worry about those. <laughs> I mean... When... When you've been alone for... Who knows how many... You'll know, take any... You'll take any company. <laughs> Are you? I'm not gonna ask... Tell you that this is... Welcome to the trial. I'm not going to say that kind of stuff. I think that's usually how these levels start. I've been here for so long. Wait, you've been here for how long now? I don't know. I do a slight check in the sky, like, okay. <laughs> Does not know his own time. Well. Um, Does anything ha else happen the, around the room, Drew? Um, yes, while you two are talking... Raves it. And I I consequently see it. Oh wait, actually, one second. I I turn my head and look at the centipede. Uh, I think we have bigger problems now. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, whatever that thing is, I'm gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be facing you, and honestly, it's 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 horrifyingly disgusting. Wait, its mouth is opening and it. <sighs> so let's, as the kids say on the TikToks, roll for initiative. Wait, as the kids on the TikTok, is that what you just yeah, said? That sounded hip, right? That that drew.
Only I'm allowed to make jokes like that. I'm the old I'm the old one here. We both know that I'm older. Alright. A natural twenty. Plus four. I said unnatural. I already uh, calculated it. Cool. And I got a ten. Okay, you got ten. Mm-hmm. Well, guess who's going to go first? Not me. Is it? I'm probably going to go the, first. The monk with the, who got the 20 for initiative? Yes. All right. Um, I see all the sharp points on the centipede. I do not want to get in close range of that. Yeah. In turn, I'm going to be doing some ranged attacks and moving away from it. Okay. Uh, actually, I uh, I look at the thing behind me. Is it like a desk or is that a drawer? Uh, behind you, it seems to be a table with legs that you could run under. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess I could see under the table, right? Yeah, you don't see anything there presently. Okay. Um, anyways, I'm just going to move away from the centipede and... I'll use uh I'm trying to look at my range stuff. Nice. So you're running away? For the time being, because I have no clue what else is there's a lots of hiding places. I know based from you're the good. dungeon they like to hide stuff. A little too you're good. Left. Coward. <laughs> okay. I mean, but as based away, on I, I've almost died. How many times in this dungeon, Drew? Okay, does a twenty? Sorry, does an eighteen beat your armor class? Excuse me, what? Does this thing bite you as you run? Opportunity attack. How? I... Apparently, it's not I... range. Like it's it's a giant centipede. What did you expect? That it wouldn't be able to bite you from five se from seven feet away? Oh, those are like. These squares, what? How many feet, Drew? Five feet each. You know, this I'm wondering, how in the world did I let it get that you close? You were distracted talking to the guy that out of the sky. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay, and you take... Roll the 12. Is it plus 6? Yes, that sounds right. Alright, cool. <laughs> 12 plus 6. So, 18. How does that? Um, How is that? that? That hits. Okay. So now, I roll a 1d8. Six damage. Is it or is it two D eight? It's you're using chill touch. Yeah, that's two D eight. All right, that's eleven damage. Okay, so our unnamed drow friend just sees this um, this halfling run away from danger, then stop, and he just throws a fist. But his spectral apparition of the fist just keeps going out from his hand, making solid contact with this uh, monster. And he's in London damage? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. 
anything like that. Nothing usually likes it when I punch them. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be more concerning if something did like that? Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Mmm. Interesting. But when that happens... I knew it! There are more! Calling out from under the bed are more of these. And, uh, yeah, another one of these creatures, although this one's a lot smaller, it seems to be eyeing the situation, seeing what's going on here. Yeah, it's just going to crawl over to the uh, drow to try to bite him. Hmm. Good. Yeah, Coming towards me. But... Does a uh, 17 beat your armor class? Does any beat your armor class? Yes, it does. Okay, just, just, just checking, you know. M maybe you would cast an armor of Agathis. Before I got into the dungeon? No! Okay, I'm gonna need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, do you need help? Oh. 17. Okay, uh, 17 passes. So, like, um, yeah, you just take two piercing damage from where it bites into you. for that. But not before another one of these things crawls out. I, wow, they're coming out one by one. Alright, yeah. I've seen how I need to be able to take these guys out. Hey, what are their initiatives? They rolled pretty well. Better than mine! Yeah, this one just sort of crawls over behind you. So now you've got, um... So now you're pretty much surrounded by these things. Oh. Oh, I'm surrounded by these things. Oh my, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing that, hey, 13 is a miss, though. A 13? Yeah. Um... if it needs to be, so. Uh, 13 misses. Yep. Okay, so what is your AC then? Um, 12, unless I have two weapons. In oh, nice. And do you? I do have two weapons in hand. Okay, good. And you have a cat. Yeah, yeah. True. You don't have yes. to focus on the cat. It's pretty important. <laughs> yes, cat, cat is very good. How many of these things are there? That's what, what I was afraid of! There's at least four. See, that's why I ran away! He bravely he ran, ran away. He unless Drew is sneaky and did the... Did, did the, pig, the, the pig prank. The what? You haven't heard of the pig prank? No. Yes. Yeah, for, for a school prank of like a bunch of kids, or for the senior prank, some kids <laughs> take the numbers one, two, and four onto pigs and release them into school. Yeah, and this one, yeah, it seems to be eyeing um, you, Stitch, but you know, it seems to be moving a little evasively, rolling around a little bit, like trying to see where you're going. So it's taking the dodge action. Oh my. Okay, that was the bad news. The good news is, is that's now the drow's turn. Hmm. Excellent. The unnamed drow, who probably forgot his name. Huh. 
Cool. Um, how, how far away is, uh, is the centipede thing from me? Uh, each block is about five feet, so the, the big one is about ten feet away. Damn. And if I move, the two things on either side of me will attack me, correct? Um, no, you'd still be within their range. Good. In that case, I'm going to move one square, one square closer, and I'm going to cast one of my other favorite spells. Uh, I'm going to well, cast... Ideally, if you had, like, an AoE attack, then that would be great, just blast out from all around you. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to okay, use good. Of Are you casting Bug Squasher? No, Word of Radiance. Okay, they need to all make con saves? Mm. Yes. Okay, then. Um, well, I'm guessing that two of them fail, at least. Oh, nice. Okay, what do they have to beat? Uh, it's my DC, right? Yes, your spell oh. save DC. Huh? Yeah, my spell save yes, DC. Yes, your spell save DC. 14. Okay, well, the big one got a 12. The other two got a total of um 5 and 2. Oh, God. So I'm, guessing, I'm guessing all yeah, so all three of them definitely fail. Yeah, all three of them failed. Yep. Uh, and do I add do I add my um, spell attack mode on top of that? Top of the damage? Um, only if it says to. It does not. Damn. Unfortunate. Okay. okay. So I just scream out uh, this this seemingly incomprehensible word and they all just take seven damage. <laughs> nice. That <laughs> did not quite go as I hoped it did. Huh? You casted Holy Shriek. Mm, you could call it holy if you wanted to. I wouldn't, but you could. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I, I, I do that as I pull out this, this book. Can't forget I pull out the book to cast it. Okay, so that's seven damage? Yeah. Seven damage. Okay. Oh. Absolutely not only holding one weapon. Yeah, that, that makes uh, the two small ones just explode. Oh, nice. Yeah, they, they did not seem to like that. Gee, I wonder why. Hmm. Well, their heads exploded anyway. Y yeah. Their heads are exploded. Hmm. Time to start stepping on some bugs. Okay, then. And do you want to do anything else this turn? Hmm. I'm still going to be within this thing's range. Unless I want it to have an opportunity uh, an opportunity of attack. So, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along beside it, to the right. What, do you think more dangers are going to come out from underneath the bed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that placement. Okay then. <laughs> good, good, good choice. <laughs> okay, now uh, this 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 ferocious creature. It's gonna turn and look at you. Ah, excellent. Yeah, it's gonna reach out its tentacles towards you to try to grab on you. Tentacles. Yeah. Centipedes don't have tentacles. tentacles. I mean, centipede was just the closest thing I could think to describe this. Oh, okay. Okay, does a 22 beat your armor class? What do you think? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just, I think it just does. Yeah, okay, so first you're gonna take... Oof. Six poison damage, and you're gonna need to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Fifteen. Okay, a fifteen's enough. Yeah, you feel like some of this poison, like like there's poison leaching into you, but you aren't poisoned from it. But now it is going to try to bite you. Yum yum yum. And, and you said that's like six damage. Yes, you took the full six poison damage. Okay, and then it also bit into you. It got a uh, fifteen total, which is a hit. It, it what? It, it bit at uh, 15. Does that hit? 15 does hit. Okay. Yeah, this thing has multi attack. Yikes. Yeah, so um, while you were distracted, not being poisoned, it bit your head for 9 piercing damage. It bit my head? Yeah. You know, that's good to put things up there. Like, my face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this thing, yeah, it seems like it's trying to eat you. That your new friend is about to be eaten. How does that make you feel? I thought he was almost dead already. <laughs> oh, what, so you left him as bait? Hey, I don't know whether to trust him or not. Plus, there was nobody that said to let the trials begin or anything like that. Maybe they did, and you just don't speak the language. Wow. Anyway, Chris, do you want the good news now? Yes. The good news is, is that another one of these things seems to uh, be crawling out of bed towards you. Towards me? Yay, it came from the bed. I was right. Yeah. See? I was a right to be afraid of the bed. I hid behind, I hid behind the centipede thing so it wouldn't... Fight me again. Well, hopefully Riley shows up soon and he can back you up. Okay. Not happening, is it? Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to absolutely destroy the set of food. W was that not part of your plan already? Hey, I thought okay, I could eat the bodies. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a 26 beats your armor class, I'm guessing. <laughs> just barely. Yeah, you take three. Poison damage, and you're gonna need to make a Constitution saving throw. All right. How's a one? Oh wait, I'm lucky. Yes, you are. Oh, what? Would you say a, that we're wait, in, uh, an area of dim light or darkness? Constitution modifier, which is zero. How's a 15? 15 is a pass. Nice. And now it is going to try to poison you. It's going to try to poison me? Sorry, bite you. Bite you. Oh, okay. Can that count as a projectile of teeth? No, it's not shooting its teeth at you. Dang it. Six. Yeah, you take eight piercing damage as it bites your noggin. Disgusting. Yeah, and you just feel like, you know, it's um it's saliva like um mucus dripping onto you. This thing is like huge Ew. now compared to you. Several times your size. Oh. Is it my turn? Another one of these creatures just pokes its head out from underneath the bed. Oh, no! But now it's your turn. <sighs> Thank God. Alright, it's in close range for me. Oh, my! Hey, Drew. Drew! Yep. Yep. I'm gonna turn the screen. You got a nat 20? Nat 20! Nice. Let me see. So, nat 20 onto the giant centipede thing. This is looking okay. good already. Well, 
Well, you are going to need to step forward slightly, but okay. That's fine. He's going to die into the dust already. Um, 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 All right. It's a 2d6 plus four. Yes. That's nine plus four is 13 for first punch. That hits? Oh, wait, wait, that was damage. That was damage. Uh, wait, it's I rolled 2d6, which is I got nine. Yeah. So, is, yeah, this thing it... just tries to, like, um, you know, dissolve you and eat you up, and you're like, no, I don't think so. Just step forward, punch it square in the face, and you feel some of its exoskeleton begin to crack. Okay. So is that... Wait, is it double damage or is it double dice? It was just double dice. Okay, okay. It, it definitely wouldn't be both. Okay. <laughs> Alright, how's a 12 plus 7? 8? Yeah, that hits. 2? Okay. Uh, then... How's a nice eight damage to the face of the centipede? Yeah, so with that, you're you know you're able to break off one of its uh, tentacles. You just punch it right where it um it connects, it's not and you dead just feel yet? those nerves snap off. And when it falls to the ground, like it's still wiring around like a lizard's tail would. Oh, okay. But the centipede is not dead yet. <laughs> nope, not dead yet. Well, let's give it some nice flurry of blows then. Next. Yep, I hope you're marking your key because you did not buy a uh, stamina potion. I know, I have. I had. What? I already used like three key total. Okay. And, but, well, yeah, sorry, you interrupted me in my. Again. I don't. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Google's doing this, mind you. I'm going to show you the well, screen you could... once again. You know, you could switch to the server's dice spot. You know that, right? Why? I get super lucky. This is like having your lucky dice, dude. Ash, this what is... do you think? Should you have to switch? This is my lucky dice. Google or is my lucky give... dice. Or should I just give him a set of dice? Mm. What, and train those dice so they do the exact same thing? Okay, but anyway. Flurry of blows, you get two attacks, right? Yes. It's a four. And that's a six, so total ten damage. Hey, you rolled a ten to hit? Yeah, ten to hit. There's no plus anything to that. No, wait, wait, wait. What, what'd you get for the initial attack roll? Uh, initial attack roll was in at twenty. Oh, right. Right, right. So this is going to be 2d6. Yeah, 2d6. A four. four and a six. Plus four. So four, six, yeah, four? You're... Yeah. A 14? Yep. Okay, so you got, you've got you gotten two nat 20s in one turn so far. Yeah, I think that's drained all my luck, Google. If you Or, you know what? R and Jesus, if you're here listening. <laughs> yeah, so you're just R like... R and Jesus is on your side, apparently. <laughs> huh? R and Jesus is on your side. Yeah. Yeah, you're just right. channeling like such intense key that you're just um you know straight up punching off parts of this um creature's body, breaking off fangs dead yet? and tentacles. Is he dead, dead yet? yet? Not, okay, yeah, not yet. That's a fourteen natural. That hits roll damage. It's five damage. Okay. Is he dead yet? Nope. And that's all. How is he do. looking? Uh, very close to dead. He better. So be. yeah, you just um, that took a lot of luck. channeling key, and it's like you just had this raw burst of pure energy. You just start punching, punching, punching through. <sighs> He's not dead yet. <laughs> now, if you're panting and exhausted, you realize that you've run out of energy for this turn. Mm -hmm. I'm surrounded. Yep. Armor class, keep me safe. <laughs> or I can still run, can't I? 
I mean, do you really want another opportunity attack? Nah. Wait, yeah, but the some... wait, I uh, monster one was taking the dodge action, so yeah, now it's its turn again. Okay. <sighs> okay, and now with this thing flanking you, does a does a nineteen hit? Yes, it hits, Drew. Okay, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. How's... Wait, is does Lucky apply to this? Um, I, I rolled a 1. I think so, yes. I think so, yes. Okay. Let's roll again. How do you still have Lucky that you can use? When's the last time you had a long rest? Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's an innate halfling feature. Oh. Let's see. Constitution, yep. Yep. you said? How's a 14? Uh, yep, 14 passes. You just take the um, four piercing damage from this thing biting into you. Cool. Okay, now 14 it's the or four? Turn. Wait, 14 four. or four? Oh, you rolled a fourteen. You took four damage. That's now, right. Josh that's right. That's right. Okay, Ash. What do you want to do? Hmm. Cool. Um, I'm going to cast a vamp. <laughs> Big surprise. I'm casting a vampiric touch. Nice. I know. It's almost like I I've had vampires on the mind recently. So, melee spell attack. And everything that I do uses charisma, so I can just, I can add my charisma mode onto that. 14? A 14 hits? So, like, you're like, no, you're not gonna bite me. I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not actually going to bite it. Nice idea, though, but I'm not actually biting it. So I deal nine damage to it. Or not not let me rephrase that. I deal nine necrotic damage to it. Okay. And I regain four no uh, round up. Right? Wait, we round down. Round down? Okay, so, so I regain four health. I deal nine damage, gain four health. So, yeah, you just reach out all mysteriously, and your shadowiness just starts draining energy away from it. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's more like I thrust my hand toward it, towards it as if I'm going to. Go go for its heart. Yeah. Oh, and nice. This um, you can redo this each turn. Hmm. And and it lasts until you, and it lasts a while, so you can keep redoing it each round. Yep. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you know, you guys are starting to get a uh, you know a hand of the battle, and then um, some something even weirder happens. Amazingly. What? Mm -hmm. What? Uh, suddenly, falling out of the sky, right in the center of everything, is um, very strong-looking child. A child. I know that child. Well, like two can't see him. hand axes. Congratulations, Thitch. Um, Gordon has returned. Oh my Sorry, gosh! The child has returned. <laughs> the prophesized one. Oh, the and the prophesized one. Is well, and... okay. Just run around now. Okay. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. There you okay. Go. I think I can see myself, but it's not letting me hear my The screen. problem says, what is here this time? Okay. Sorry, I'm late, guys. Sorry, I'm late. No worries. So, Riley, so... here's the context. 
<laughs> After floor two, you dove into the pipe, but something seemed to have gone wrong. You landed first in a um, grassy meadow that looked like there had already been a battle there, and there was another pipe. Through that pipe was then an arctic area where it already seemed like there was a lot of dead bodies, including a, um, two strange burned up trees and a lot of cracked ice. When you went through them, you then landed in a shop area where a nice woman named uh, Quint spoke to you for a bit, explaining that she works with that um, Quint's basically run shops within the um, tower, selling all sorts of trade goods to uh, travelers. By the way, did you buy yeah. anything? I uh, said, hey, how you doing? Can I have some uh, healing potion? Okay, sweet. You're actually buying a healing potion. <laughs> Probably a smart idea. Uh, to be, uh, to be fair, good. I actually thought I bought something. But I yes, I can give you a standard healing potion for 25 gold. Uh, how about you make it two and I get a kiss on the cheek? Wait! Um, uh, no, wait, what? I'll make you a really good food, I promise. Hey, I, yeah, you got one of these? And I show up my, like, invitation to the, the, uh, the, uh, Chef Valhalla. I say, <laughs> you got one of these? You got one of these? No, you don't got one of these. I got one. Um, we'll, we'll buy that off you for ten copper. It froze. I don't know if you hear. Oh, uh, it, I heard. Um, I might have you for ten, and it froze. Yeah. For a yeah, ten copper. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just take the one healing person for twenty-five. Ah, oh, yes, very good then. And I sense that you were traveling with the one known as Earth Mover Gerald and Fitch. Uh, monk, bald monk who's drunk. Yeah, yeah, Bob and, Monk, who's uh, drunk, that's yeah, the one. Yeah. Yes, you, you, you'll know, yeah. find him, you hop through that pipe, the one on the left, the one that says, um, uh, sizing down. Don't, don't uh, the, the, the one that says sizing up will lead you somewhere else. So, do you want to gotcha. regroup with your friends? I kind of want to go to the other one. Well, I'm sure that if your friends are alive, they'll go there next. Okay, I'll go down, yeah, I, I go with, I go wherever, basically. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, now you, so then as you were falling into this, you actually got a bird's eye view of what appears to be a bedroom, but you kept shrinking down, and now you've landed, oh. and you time. see the bodies of these um, horrific creatures, um, they look like these giant worms, but with like a thousand legs. Hey, do I see dead bodies from the first two, three, four, five, and six levels? No, that sold those off. I was okay. Wait, you sold the bodies? Yeah. Look. No. And, no, and it, you mind you, hey, look, look, look. Someone was not letting me bring them through the pipes either way. Half of them got stuck in the that ice. Because they such useful material. That's we what I was trying to say. But no, bodies. the DM didn't want me to do anything. We could have chopped up the bodies and eaten them. Actually, you didn't want to because some most of most of them were monsters. So, and some of that would actually be cannibalism. And hey, it's only cannibalism for you. As long as none of them were elves, I'd be fine with eating them. Yes, they were. Some of them were. Okay, then I wouldn't be fine. Actually, with wait, them. they were drow. We, we, we were fighting with. drow, weren't we? Wait, are you guys just having know. this? Just stopped and having this conversation in the middle of a battlefield? No. No, but, <laughs> but, but the body's with you. Look, I tried I for? tried to take them with me, but you stopped me at every step just because I was the only one trying to push this. Earth Mover yes. didn't agree with me. Yes, Chris, am... there were realistic obstacles in your way. You know yeah. what? Okay. So I land like, you know, hero style on the ground. I say, Hey Fitz, where's my spider? I had to unfortunately sell it because it wouldn't fit through the pipe. <laughs> oh, you done it now. You, okay. you just wait till we you just wait till we're done messing these guys up. I'll get you another spider. Um, <laughs> You're dang right. <laughs> yeah, Riley, let's just go ahead and put you in the initiative order here. All right. All right. Oh dude, I, so I'm I'm in another campaign on Mondays and <laughs> I'm like 
I have like this thing that lets me get advantage on initiative, and that's in that one. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I mean, great. It, it's off. fine. We'll just say that you take your turn. No, you're taking your oh. turn now. Gotcha. Okay. So where am I? I'm. Did you make me the firing pan? Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna take out my shield and my longsword. So, um, and then attack number one. Okay, yeah, you're stepping forward to the giant one of these things. Yeah, oh, wait, so wait, what is that? I'm sorry. So, all of these creatures, they seem uh, somewhat similar in composition. They're like these giant uh, worm-esque things with, like, hundreds of legs. Okay. And, um, uh, so, yeah, like, almost like tentacle-like stuff and um, these protruding horns or whatever. Like, gotcha. I guess pinchers is a better word. Um. Is one of them more messed up before I move? Sorry. Uh, the one closer to Fitch definitely seems closer to death. Okay. Um, I'll 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 still I'll, I'll still attack the first one. Yeah, it just seems like it's oozing. Uh, I guess pus and everything. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I, I don't know enough about like insectoid anatomy to properly <laughs> describe what happens when one has been stabbed multiple times. Yeah. All right. So that's a eight. 18 to hit. Oh, not, uh, what are you using, by the way? Uh, long sword, but one-handed, so it's a D8. Okay, nice. Yeah, hey, I, I, I've been I've been doing some research, Drew. I'm not. I'm, I'm I'm getting a little bit better, huh? Thanks. Yeah. And it's three, and then that's plus plus I believe three. I have to check the sheet really quick. Give me a sec. Yeah, you rolled a three, a three plus three. That sounds about yeah, right. Yeah, six. Yeah. 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 That so makes that's sense. six damage. And I get two attacks, right? Yes, you do. Okay. Um, cool. I'm going to just swing at him again here. And um, let's hope they hit. Let's see what's going on. That does not hit. Uh, does a nine hit? No, I'm not. I'm not doing this. <laughs> okay. Um, All right, I'm done. <laughs> so, yeah, I love this. You just drop in. Your first question is to Fitch. Hey, where's the spider? Nope, nope, you're right, you're right. We can argue about that later. Yeah! And then I slay into this guy once hey, and then miss the second time. Yeah, you just step forward, slicing off one of its tentacles, but then with your second hit, you um, it, it's able to glance your blow off using a pincer. <laughs> Can you guys hear that dog barking over? No. Uh, yep. Okay, good. Because kind of annoying. <sighs> so now it's going to turn its attention to you. To who? Excuse me. Say it with the problem. Does 22 be your armor class? It actually does. That's what. Yeah, yeah, just barely. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, what? first you take. How tanky oh, are you? I'm a, I, I have a 16 AC when I'm holding my shield. Okay. So this thing bites but, into you, and you take three poison damage, and I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. I think my constitution modifier is zero. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, a 10. That doesn't sound good. You don't have a con mod? Not at all. Zero. Okay. So you begin to feel this poison coursing through you and your body begins to lock up. Oh you are currently God. poisoned and paralyzed. Oh man. Uh let me go get my pencil. Uh okay. like two, two seconds. So yeah, he's now trapped into place. Oh no, that's fun. Alright, well fun to be back. This is so fun. Bitch, get me out of here. Well, um Alright, just give me a second. <laughs> now it's gonna try to fight you. And with I'm going without need poison. To see if paralyzed advantage. Yeah, paralyzed people get um, advantage when, or like if you attack something that has or is paralyzed, you get advantage. Yeah, I from what I remember. Much. Yep, I guess the creature has advantage. Whoops. So, am I still holding my shield even if I'm paralyzed? Yes, yes. Yeah, we'll say okay. it's like when you're restrained by the spider, like you're just holding your shield out. Yeah. Oof. Hey, well, oh, um, the good news is is that it was would have hit either way. 
Oh, okay. What was what was the highest one? Uh, the highest one was a twenty. Natural? Uh, no, modded. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, light on me. Yeah. You're just frozen in place, and just tries to bite into you. Yeah, gets you right in the noggin for six piercing damage. So that's nine total. Yes. All right. And so with the poison, do I take more every turn? Like poison or no? The poison sets and disadvantage ability checks. Gotcha. All right. Well, also attack rolls, but you can't attack anyway while paralyzed. So that makes sense. Okay. Now, um, bitch. The, uh, the the monster in front of you is going to try to grab at you with its remaining tentacles. Try it. Okay, does a 27 meet your armor class? Why do you even ask at this point? Just, just to show you how powerful this thing is. Yeah, it just grabs you with both tentacles you take. Okay. What? I, 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 I'm going to use a different uh, D, D4. This one keeps coming up with four. Wow. Wait, just so does, does this thing look like Giratina in its origin form? Yes. <laughs> Good. Okay. I love the way you just read that. <laughs> okay, uh, Chris, you take uh, four piercing damage or poison damage, and you're going to need to make a Constitution saving throw. Now, now, it, now oh. it's just imagining like these these giant gear teeth is just gnawing on us. Does twelve down. work? Or no. A twelve is not enough. You are now paralyzed. Oh, oh dang! Some crows, you guys. You're gonna leave this up to the new guy. Hold on. Yeah. Welcome to the campaign. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the invite. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure to leave. A review on on um. Oh, please do not! Please do not! <laughs> I'll leave a, I'll leave a review on this later. Don't worry. Okay. It then bites. It gets a twenty two. You no, know, it gets an eighteen to hit with the bite, and hits you for seven piercing damage. It, it's just trying to full on eat you now. Like it's got you held in place. And it's just gonna. <laughs> I'm in danger! Yes. <laughs> we are. Okay. Is... And now this, um, this other creature is going to just crawl over there. Oh boy. Okay. Does a twenty three hit? Doesn't. He's doing this too. Yeah. Okay. You take five piercing damage, and you're gonna need to make a Constitution saving throw. What's the point? Like you just kind of, you'll be poison. At least yeah, it's a it's 17. Gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, the, this time you're able to shrug off the poison. Yeah, shrug it off. That's what you always need to do. Wait, I need to check something. Because, Chris, you still have one level of exhaustion. Didn't I take a short rest? But that In doesn't the... mean. But no, no way. But that doesn't give disadvantage on saving throws, so you're safe. Okay. What what does exhaustion give? What uh? Yeah. What does one level of exhaustion do that? Disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, doubt the order. That's going to bring us back to fetch. All right. What am I able to do? Um. You can repeat the saving throw if you want. Is there anything else <laughs> besides that? Pass. 
16. Yeah, that 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 succeeds. You're just shrugging off the poison. Thank you. Well, yeah, you anyway. just focus, yeah, just being a uh, monk, you're just fully able to like focus go. your body together and then just release the poison out of you. Okay. Ah. All, all the Florida men here. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, all three of you are in Florida. He's got a now point. That's gonna bring us to centipede one. Bites into you for another five piercing damage, and you're gonna need to make another constitution saving throw, Chris. Me? Yep. Again? Yep. They don't care about me. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Dice. You're listening to me. There we go. 15. This. Good. Okay, that succeeds. It's good. I'm going to have to strangle okay, you if you give me the one. Now it's okay? Drow's turn. Cool. Okay. Um. Damn. They're both. Damn, they're both actions. The two things. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on this Giratina thing in front of me. Okay. Uh, it that needs that to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Well, as you can imagine, it's not particularly wise. Wow. It's not very unwise, but it's not like super wise. Does a mm-hmm. nine? No, a nine does not pass. Mm-hmm. How much damage is it going to take? And it's taken damage already. Yeah. Has it healed any damage back? Nope. Good. So that's going to be two d twelve necrotic damage. Twenty damage. I think that's going to be enough to kill. I hope so. Yeah, you just make like a weird dissonant noise from within yourself, just echoing out, and you just begin to see it like begin to rupture and uh, vibrate as it collapses to the ground. Nice, nice. Okay. Um. Can I still? Run towards bitch or no? Yeah, yeah, you have plenty of speed, Mark. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to run between the the child, and I'm I'm going to stop right in front of the child, uh, between the child and this. Thing, this gear team of thing. The yeah. child is known as Gordon Clay, by the way. Okay. Nice to meet you, Gordon. Oh, but you're Gordon. paralyzed, so we can't speak. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that did that. Okay, okay but Gordon, now it's your turn. <laughs> you can really <laughs> say Gordon's mouth. I will, out of Gordon's mouth, I don't understand what it's saying, you know. Oh, you can! <laughs> Oh, yeah, I get it. I got that. Did you say it's my turn? Yeah. Huh? Is, is Gordon a prolific swear user? Um, no. depends. Once I get really, uh, w- w- once I start rolling a bunch of low numbers, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Drip, sorry. Yes. All right. So um, I'm going to have to make a constitution. Yes. Hopefully you're able to pass. A 12? A 12 is not enough. I get two. Or do I get you're two still just standing there, rigid, facing away from the action. Uh, okay, so. You got to be joking. You, you just watched me just, just kill this thing. No problem. Okay. Dude, hey, Drew, I just threw my dice down to, uh, in spite, and I got a 20. <laughs> <laughs> the, the prolific, pro, the, the vulgar language is about to come. Okay. Okay. 
Now, Chris, mm -hmm. this giant creature is going to go again. Oh, boy. <laughs> he seems very happy. Flanking. Uh, flanking. It's a real killer. Does a 20 total beat your armor class? Ah, oh, yes. 20 is less than 15. <laughs> okay, in that case... <laughs> Drew, you suck. Yep. In that case, you're going to take uh, four poison damage, and you're going to need to make another constitution saving throw. Seventeen. Okay. At least, I'm at least okay. I'm at least okay. But I know oh, there's four, oh, like two or three more attacks coming in, and I don't know if I can survive those. Wait. Oh, no, that has... Wait. wait. Oh, no, no, wait. Your armor class is a 15, right? Yes. Yeah, Yeah. so, you know, th this time is starting to come around. Like, it's um, tentacles grip into you, and, you know, like, slight spikes try to put poison through your system, but you're just able to shake it off. And then when it tries to bite you, you just see it coming and roll out of the way. Oh. Okay, and... Well, now centipede number two is going to go. Hey, quick question, Drew. What are those two things by stitch? Nah. Because left the bottom. Little bugs. Oh. Well, relatively little. They're still about, they're still like slightly larger than the bitch. Smaller. Okay. <laughs> Chris, this thing bites into you for five piercing damage, the smaller one, and you're going to need to make another con save. Someone help me, please. What? <laughs> How's a 14? A 14 passes. You are safe, and it's now your turn. You don't want to know how much health they have. Three? I want to know. One. I'm oh. at one. I'm Can at one. <laughs> Help okay. me. Drew, hey, I, hey, you know I what? You. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to do this. Hold on. Oh, that's not a good idea. Okay. Are you praying for a good roll? That's a 13. Uh, so, plus seven? Okay, that hits. Oh, that hits. So... Total 10 damage. That's 6. Good. Second punch. 12 plus 7. That hits. Good. Second punch is 4 plus 4. 8 damage. Okay. So this thing, you know, first it grabbed you with its tentacles, tried to poison you. That didn't work. Then when it bit you, you, you rolled out of the way. You rolled just into range of another centipede that bit you, but you just took the opportunity, jumped back up, Gave it a double uppercut with uh, both its fists. With both of your fists, you shatter through its exoskeleton right into its in bug internal organs and cause it to, it to collapse dead. And I don't want to wow. even risk the other two. I'm going to spend one more key point, putting me down to one last key point. Okay. Warrior blows. 14, yeah, for warrior blows. 14 plus 7. That hits. How's a five damage? Five plus four. Sure. Nine. Did you yeah, already yeah, add yeah. the plus four? Huh? Did you already add the plus four? No, I did not. Okay, sweet. So yeah, you punch into this thing and it also dies. Okay, okay one last yeah. punch. Nine, nine damage. <laughs> Are you one There's punch? There's a net twenty that I wanted. There's a net twenty one that I wanted. Here. You got a dead. Oh. It's okay. I'm next to you. You're fine. Two plus a six plus a four. I was gonna, I was gonna throw my my so bottle 12. of uh, potion, like uh, my my like my, my um health potion at you yeah, on my no. turn uh, if I yeah. was. You punch into this thing. You squash it like a bug. It dies, and another pipe shows up. What? He doesn't get to describe his own crit. 
Okay, fine. If you want to go ahead, it, it, the, the, okay, the how small big is one the bug? What does it look like again? What does it look like again? Uh, it looks like a large wormish creature, but it's a lot more solid. It's definitely got an exoskeleton, and you know, it's got a bunch of legs and uh, tentacles and stuff. You know, since I already did the upper cut punch, mm -hmm. uh, I want to kick that uh, bug oh, number. Oh. What it, that is in front of me, mm -hmm. and then. As I'm coming down, I'm gonna smash down on that last bug. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I, I like nice. this. And, so, and then, all right. <laughs> now that the battle is over, right, do you yeah. guys want to take the chance to get to know each other? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I just I I decide to just lay on the ground, fall over. <laughs> am I am I still am I still the ceiling? Um, paralyzed. No, it, it wears off after a minute, and you'd be repeating the save every six seconds, so you're fine. I kind of so, want to try it, just in case. Okay, just keep rolling and let us know when you finish. Got a two. Okay. Yeah, 20. Let's go. Okay, there yeah, go. you're okay. good. All right. So, okay. Uh, hey, Titch. Who's this guy? What's up? My name is I don't know who he is much. Oh, he's... Okay. I'm, I'm on the floor. I am on the floor on my back looking at the ceiling, and I'm trying to hang okay. on for you know dear what? life. You know what? Okay, I, I look over to... um. What, what's your name, man? Sorry. Ash. Sorry. I, Ash? Uh, so what, okay. while, while you guys are doing that, it's like, I, I just seem to be almost like pre preoccupied as if I'm I'm talking to talking to something. It's like, I basically... Asking stuff on the lines of, was did, did I do a good job? Okay. I I look at him in, like, like complete disgust or almost, like, confusion. Walk down to Thitch, say, Thitch, where's my spider? It wouldn't fit in the hole. I slap him. Real not <laughs> heavy like. Oh, okay, non -lethal damage. <laughs> Make sure you say non-lethal damage. Make sure you say okay. non-lethal damage. No, okay. <laughs> you said it was a 15, right? Your AC is 15? Yes. Wait, are you actually punching him? He slapped me. I got 14. Me. Yeah, I got 14. Okay, good. You're so lucky, dude. That's so funny. Okay. <laughs> Although, technically, but, okay, Fitch I, said I, he I, laid down, so that means he's prone, so he has uh, do you have get advantage. A, I get, a, I get I'm ad, kidding. Wait. I get advantage. I got that one, so. Okay. But, okay. So. <laughs> Um. So you're just exhausted from from that fight. And from, yeah, I'm like, also, lucky, in the meantime, I'm having my raven look at, at the chest, trying to see if there's a way in. Oh, okay, yeah, I like that. So yeah, That's your raven right. flies um, over, and, and um, yeah, your raven able would like go inside the keyhole. No, mm -hmm. oh, nice. What does it see? Actually, you know what? More monsters! No, no, no. But actually, um, hmm. trying to... You know what? The raven was small to begin with, and it got even it's smaller. It's the size of a fairy so... now. What is it? What is well, that one? Uh, a, um, top a dex check for the raven for it to try to jimmy in there. You don't want mine. Uh, it's going to say right 14. now, you don't want mine. Wait, Dex, uh, uh, what, is there a modifier? Yes, it is a stat block. So 14 plus whatever the stat block is. Okay, plus two, so 16. Awesome. So yeah, with the 16, you know, your Raven's able to go in there and fly around, and you realize that um, inside here seem to be um, a few potions and gold pieces. Oh, because you're right. I look, I look the gold pe the the potion. Does it look like a potion of health or healing? Potion um, healing. you can't. Well, the raven can only see in gray. Hold on. So you need to find a way into can... this chest. No, Chris, raven... it's, it's dark vision. Chris, it's dark vision oh, thing. Okay, it's okay. dark in that side. Fine, fine, fine. All right, fair enough. Uh, can I bring the potion to me? You have to find a way from the chest. 
the potion is too big or too small for the hole? T- 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 too big. Oh, okay. Have a name. Uh, how? Okay. Uh, I grab a gold. How big is the? So that's actually got a weird thing. The gold and potions they seem to be scaled like to you, not scaled to the room. as much as it can carry. I so mean, probably like three pieces. Yeah, but like it, it's just gonna need to stack them up in the chest or whatever. Like your raven kind of had to squeeze. Oh, it kind of had to. It can't. So. Well, I'm, I'm sad. Well, for one, if you want the treasure, Chris, you're gonna need to break into the chest, most likely. Okay, fine, fine. Raven, carry one peat gold piece to me, in its beak. Are you gonna make us wait? For it to just bury no. each piece back and forth. Because I'm almost dead, and I want to see if those healing potions actually work on me. So you're gonna need to find a way to get in there. Yeah, I know. In the meantime, as it's shimmying, shimmy, I'm going to look at the locking mechanism. I mean, what am I? Wait, hold on. I'm a blacksmith, not a rogue, so I don't know how that works. No. Ooh. Idea. But I'm a pirate. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. As Since I'm a pirate, I kind of know how to get into chests. Yes, but you're not proficient in thieves' tools. But I can so that will make things it. harder. Okay, true. Um, all right. I have my raven bring back one gold piece. Just to show that there's treasure. To the other party, since I am barely... Yeah, it's able to do that. That's fine. I I bring the gold, uh, the gold piece to... Um, the child. Okay. Appreciate you, big dog. And I, yeah. I say, gold and chest and potion. <laughs> Need potion. I, I, you got to take everything. Well, no. Well, it's, well, it's, a, it's a comparatively giant chest. Oh. So you'll need to find a way to get inside of it. Um, alright. So wait, 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 I have spells, I have spells, I have spells, I have spells. Oh, um, okay. I have spider climb, I have spider climb, I can't spider climb on myself and climb up it and then go and do it to the Okay, a spider climb, I like where this is going, but, um, okay, but you're still gonna need to find a way to get inside the chest. Oh, I see where you're so, okay. Hmm. Question. But I'll, I like where this is going. So if... If a, if a spirit were to grab the items, would it then be able to take the items out of the chest? Um, if you're thinking about um, unseen servants, that can't make items incorporeal. I'm not. Well, I'm what, thinking what were you thinking? something else, but... Hmm... Hey, do you guys do Wordle? Or do you guys do the Wordle? No. Yeah. I don't do the daily get... Wordle. Okay, I do it the daily one. And I am completely lost. Dude, I have one letter in the right spot. And I, like, have broken my name for every letter, but I can't. Okay, but anyway, so, so, um, I have Spider Punch. So I'm, like, on top of the chest, but I can't really, like, see anything inside the chest. Yeah, so... Um, you want to try to open the chest? Uh, do I have, like, lock picking? Do I have any lock picks? Uh, pick, um, well, you don't necessarily know if the chest is locked. It's just really big. Oh, then, yeah, I'll try to open it. So is that a strength check? Yeah, you, you, yeah go, go ahead and make, like, an athletics check or something. Uh, if I'm... Sh- oh, hold on one second. I need to find a thing. If my, uh, strength is better. Wait, so I have a 17 in strength and my modifier is only plus 3? Yeah. Because okay. neutral strength is 10. Okay, yeah, I'm proficient in athletics, so. Um, what's my proficiency proficiency bonus? It doesn't say on there. Is it 2 or 3? Or four? Plus 3 at your level. It's three. Okay, so then that's athletics is dexterity? No, it's, it's strength. Oh, it's strength? Okay. So, plus six. 
Oh boy, I got 22. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is like, you know, like a real Spider-Man moment. Like you're running up the chest and just like, um, well, yeah, because like uh, the way, you know, spider climbs works, that you're able to get like perf- like really good purchase on both the top and bottom. So you're just pushing it upwards. Like um, Garfield Spider-Man um, holding the car as it's dangling off the uh, bridge. And he's holding okay. on to the top part of the bridge. That's how I'm kind of imagining this. Okay. And so like, you know, you're able to get like the chest open a little bit. It's really heavy though. You don't know how long you could hold like this. You could jump inside if you want, but that's not advisable. I jump inside. Yeah, you're you're compar- Oh wait, or you could crawl inside. You're What's comparably twenty feet in the air. Oh, then yeah, I, I like kind of like crawl down. You know? Yeah. yeah so uh, to, tell you what, I make a quick um, make a dexterity check to jump in and be able to grab the wall just before like this thing falls on you or you fall yourself. I may not be good during the heat of battle. Yeah, well, I was a nat twenty, my friend. I do a so, backflip yeah, now- and land like a Superman, or or like a Spider Man, or a Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. Also, I'm gonna be taking down. a long rest right here, right now. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, we should be taking a long rest. <laughs> In the meantime, I tell them to oh. take care of the chest. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, there's oh, nothing gosh. in there. This is crazy. <laughs> I well, saw it from my own eyes, mind you. Yeah, well, uh, I know exactly what someone actually chest. know that it's not advisable to sleep outside of the safe zones. Say what? Do you want to parlay that information? Oh. Apparently doesn't want to pass the information along. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I was, I was distracted. Apparently something crazy. Okay, yeah. So, Riley, you're now monster. inside the dark chest. You can't see anything. It's pitch dark. Oh, wait. Don't I have... Oh, I don't have dark vision. Okay. So, I... um. Oh, I have mage hand. Uh, does that... Well, can that help me in any way whatsoever right now? Um... A, a little bit, but it doesn't create light. Uh, you, you still have your torches. What? I, I have torches. Can I torches. cast spells through my raven Wait, or no? who sold the torches? You have torches, still. Oh, I thought you said I sold torches. Okay, yeah, I'll light one of them up. So we're just waiting on... Cool. Um, well, well, while you're thinking about that, uh, I suddenly just I, I, I stop uh, muttering to myself as if I'm muttering to some unseen god. And I go to uh, I, I go to check on Fitch. See what's going on. Okay. With him. Are, are, are you okay? It hurts a lot. <laughs> Help. Heal me, please. Um, I'm gonna also look at my own kit to see what else I can do to myself. So, uh, Riley, do you want to make a torch then, or light one? Yeah, I said I light one. Oh, Hold okay, on. yeah, yeah, sorry. So, Mr. yeah. Mr. Drow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, go. Have myself. Yeah. yeah, you're mm. able to see inside this uh, chest, and it's like uh, it's described. There's, you know, a bunch of uh, coins scattered about and several potions. I scoop them. Scoop all of it. Okay, what's your plan to get out? Um, so what is this chest made of? Wood. Oh, I'm so gonna, I have two hand. I have two hand axes, so I'm just gonna try and chop through it. Dang okay, it! I was, really I was hoping you were so gonna scared. cast a fire spell. <laughs> I don't I like have any fire spells. I have I have featherfall, detect magic, charm person, and, and fog cloud, and ah, then okay. poison spray. So, okay, I'm a fighter. I don't have that many spells. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta start chopping through. Okay, that is a... So is that an attack or, like, a, just a strength thing? Um, I guess this could be, like, a, um, like, another, um... Well, you know, this is, like, this is comparable to, um, chopping firewood, so if you want, it can be a survival check, if you're good at that. Um... Or it can be athletics, yeah. so, you know, okay, you your strength into it. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do, um, survival then, because it's... Okay. So, here we go. 
Oh, baby, at 24. So, yeah, with a 24, you know, the, the main thing with this is that it's actually you realizing, like, um, that this is going to take longer than just, like, uh, normally chopping someone with your um, axe. So it's actually realizing that you need to um, conserve your energy to be consistent with your chops. That's the main thing that this survival is getting you. So, yeah, you're, you, you know that you'll get out here, like, soon-ish. Yeah. Take a minute. Yeah. Oh, so it's not worth the, the risk. No, no, no like, it, it'll take a few minutes is what I mean. Okay. So, like, so, if you were being chased by something, maybe maybe you expend more energy. But now you're, you're, you're safe to do this the way. Gotcha. Okay, so can I just continually do that, or do I have to keep on making a check? No, that, that, that's fine. If you want to speed it up, that'd be okay. more checks, but... Okay, then, yeah, I'll just wait a couple minutes. Okay, and what are the other two of you doing? Um, I hold on to my, uh... I asked the Mr. Drow, how how much how healthy are you feeling? Uh, let me check something. Actually, um, are there any visible wounds on Fitch that I can see? Uh, other than like, th there's there's bite marks on him, right? Yeah, he's had yeah, he's all sorts of bite marks and. And uh, where he was um, stuck into by the thorny bits. Yeah, he was also attacked by a polar bear. So, mm, huh, of course, of course. Okay, yeah. normal stuff. Cool. Um. Do I have I so I have uh, an herbalism kit in my pack in my as my pack. Do I have a potion of healing? Um you, you want me to roll for that? Well, no, I'm trying to think because there is a specific kit that you can use to make healing potions. Is that the king question? Yeah. Then yes, yes. Uh, if you have the kits, then you have the. This kit is great and stocks in any potion of healing. So yes, and I have proficiency. So then yes. Cool. Uh, I'm going to craft a potion of healing then. Wait, proficiency with this kit lets you add your six. Um, tell you what, I'm going to say that you actually have the, the, the main thing is that you're actually, um, use the ingredients that you have around you. Like you're able to sort of reverse engineer the, um, the venoms of this, uh, of these creatures. Okay. To, to create a potion that will help at least. Yeah. That will heal. Any sort of will needed for that or just. Yeah, I'll tell you what, um, well, it, it, Fitch, are you going to help I'm, me make I this healing potion? Okay, then let's make this a bit of a skill challenge. Do you guys remember how those work? A little, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. guys are going to need to make a, a series of skill checks, and then collectively you're trying to get to three successes before you get to three failures. Okay, okay. yeah. It's no problem. All right, let's go. So, what do you guys want to start with? You probably. Oh. Mm, probably uh, knowing how, what to start with, what materials to use. Okay. So, yeah, and, and if like, you um, know which, which tool, uh, which ingredients we would need. That could be wisdom, that could be yeah. nature, that could be medicine. Let me see, yeah, I have. That could be our or medicine, I could see any of those three. No, I'm not proficient in any I'll be right back. Okay. I'm good at insight. But... I'm, I'm, I'm really good at medicine, so... Okay, so it's... you'll roll for that? I'll, I'll roll for medicine. Okay. Um... Oh god. I 
got a nat you one. Me, you want me to try? Okay. And you were getting a nat one to figure out what to start with? Right, Ash? Yeah. Okay, Can yeah, so with the net one, you're looking around at these uh, creatures, and actually, at second look, you realize you have no idea what you're doing when it comes to these monsters. You've never seen anything like them. So that's I'd one like to roll insight to maybe, like, try and assume, okay, maybe I should use this. Okay. Why do my dice hate me tonight? I don't care this new dice. So, insights plus four, that would give me at a 16. Yeah, with a 16, you know, you're, you're actually saying that the 16, that you realize that, um, that, you know, you're able to read the situation and, um, you realize that he doesn't know how to reverse engineer any of these creatures, but you get the feeling that, um, That you're able to combine it with that if you combine it with um, one of your alcohols just right with these uh, poisons, then they'll be able to counter each other out. Like, think, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Which one of your alcohols are you? Um, come on, I have to use another one of them. Yes. Because here's the thing: on. you're basically making a uh, potion that's, by the sound of it, you're. The way this is going to best work is a potion that's specific to Thitch. Yeah. One that's uh, yeah. best suited to heal his key structure. So that's why um, some things are going to work that probably wouldn't work on a normal person. All right. How much alcohol do you have? A lot more than you think. All right. Oh, wait, I have one small potion. I, okay, I do have so one small potion. I, I, so I, I just want to drink that. David spells. And I think you know which one I'm, I have, Drew. <laughs> okay, but you do have a potion. Wait, wait, so I just want to imagine, like, this guy gets all his gears set up, and, like, he's about to just start ripping stuff off a monster. You're like, wait, 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 I already have one. <laughs> I have, I have, I I remember it because it's at the bottom of my bag. Oh so yeah, he I, keeps his alcohol in a bag of holding, so it's safe from your tricks. Okay. Um. Well, I reach into my bag, and just like my arm just goes further and further and further. My whole arm's inside of it, and I'm like. Ah. There it is. <laughs> I pull it out. Okay. Uh, can you think of any sort of reason we might need to make a re um, like a religion or a performance check with this? I mean, sounds like um, Fitch is just like, oh, wait, wait, we don't need to craft this potion after all. I already have one. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you'll craft a potion later on, though. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. And... <laughs> As you guys finish that, you suddenly see from the other side of the room, Gordon has busted himself out of this chest. Uh, Who the hell? So, how much does a small potions? Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, side note. Um, Will Smith just punched Chris Rock on live television after he made fun of his wife at the Oscars. And then, uh, yeah. so why are we talking like a full blown just well, right hook or so like, like something more friendly? No, so like, um, like, um, Chris Rock was like making a bunch of jokes about Chris Rock, uh, Will Smith's wife and like uh -huh. how she was bald. And then he, he said, like, G.I. Joe or whatever, or G.I. Jay Ooh. or whatever. And, um, he was like, uh, like awkwardly laughing. And like got up out of his seat, walked up on stage where Chris Rock is by himself, walked up kind of like nicely, and then like the fastest ever right hook, right to the draw. I gotta see and this. And then and then he said, um, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth, like four times, like yelling at the top of his lungs. And um having a live television at the Oscars. 
nice. Sorry for the intrud- intrusion. Uh, I'm going to have to go I mean, like, glass this, of water. This is important information. It's like drama at the Oscars? Ooh, tell yeah. me more. Like, I went up to get a glass of water, check my phone. My, my sister said, like, Holy cow, video. dude. Watch oh, the there it is. Yeah. Dude, but okay. it's crazy. Sorry, sorry for the interruption, but um. But yeah, but anyway, so, that's fine. So, Chris, your healing potion will heal you for um, two D four plus two. Green, one's blue, and one's uh, red. What color is my potion? It's red, okay. and it's clearly labeled as healing. Yes, I know. Give me the red one, please. But anyway, but also, um, your uh, Riley, your three potions they are also all labeled in um, what appears to be Elvish. I don't know Elvish, do I? Nope. Did anybody here know Elvish? I don't think so. Oh, this is fun. Hey, wait. Hey, dude. Hey. Wait, what? Easy hogo. Oh, I'm just gonna. Oh, wait. Yo, I just found it. I just found it. Yeah, I'm gonna post. Yeah, yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah, okay. On here? (laughs) Or on the Discord? I'm posting it on the Discord. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, um. But yeah, that's crazy. Um. But say your name again, I'm sorry. Easy hogo. Easy hogo? Easy Hogo. This is uh, today, bro. I'm gonna call you Go Go. Um, Wait, go, 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 go. Can you read this? Don't give it to Fitch until I tell you. Yes, yes, I can. What's it say? Okay. So, um, the green one is labeled Potion Potion of Health, and the blue one is labeled Potion of Mana. Thank you, Gogo. Take those back. Um, well, do, wait, wait, wait. wait. Does, does, wait. does Easy Gogo share this information? Wow. Uh, <laughs> that would be. Uh, um. <laughs> they're all poison. Here, let me take them off your hands. I. <laughs> uh, um. Yes. Okay. Well, Okay, sweet. Yes, so, thank you. Yes, go, go. I, I get the, I get the stamina and mana ones mixed up. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had to read El. Since I've had to read, let alone read an Elvish. Um, hey, what's what's the? You said it's a stamina, and what was the other one? Mana. Mana. Man, what is that? Again? It's just what they're labeled as. No, like what is mana? Oh, it's mana. Basically, it'll. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It, it'll, it'll basically allow some allow someone whoever drinks it to use some magic that they otherwise lost. Okay, so this is really funny. So I say, all right, bitch, here you go. Here's some health potion. I give him the red one, the health one. I'm like, I'm gonna keep the stamina, but it's the magic one, <laughs> and I'm gonna and the magic one, which is the health one, and I will be using them incorrectly in the future here, and I can't wait. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Fitch, does, does that confuse you? Because um, you've dealt with these kind of potions in the past, and now for some reason he's saying that the blue one is stamina and the green one is mana, even though that's through my, through my in, I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna go with insight because okay. no, he's he's too confu- he's too dazed and like beat down. He doesn't even know what's going on. I just drank just drank a small health potion. That I'm at ten health now. Nice. And I I just rolled a fourteen natural so uh, my ins- i'm proficient in insight so i'm gonna well, don't, oh don't tell me dude i kind of i kind of want to just for 18 I, I, but i'm like i take the potion and i'm like i look at you as you say that i'm like i probably heard you wrong This was stamina. This was magic. Why? I look at you confused. I'm like, wait, dude, that's what Gogo said. And and at this point, I'm imagining, um, Geralt 
with his mana potion that he had. <laughs> and it was a blue. I'm like, wait okay. a second. I got it. I got it. Like, I'm going to bring that up to him and be like, hey, man, you got a stamina potion too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to take a long rest now. Oh, and um, do these. I, I take a fang. I take a fang from one of these uh, creatures. Add oh, I, said, I decide to also scour their bodies as well. See what I can okay, get. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can get sacks of poison, right? Yeah. Oh, we can also poison. keep these poison bodies. Sacks. Yeah, I was just about to say, I didn't want to say it because I think Drew would get get pissed off at us. No. No. Not at all. (laughs) He can't. Not with three people here now. (laughs) (laughs) The reason why was uh, we had a, I had killed the giant tree and I was trying my best to bring him along with me. (laughs) But he was like, I'm not strong enough. I'm like. (laughs) Yeah, Chris, I think I'm just putting reasonable limitations as yeah, because you don't want. See, you should have seen the ice too. floor. There was a total of, I think, about 14 bodies. That's amazing. That's amazing. But the ice level was where it took most of it. Because, like, for some reason, we had to apply logic and then I would get hypothermia. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Glad I missed that. Wait, what? Either way. <laughs> I, I, I'm, at this point, where I'm explaining to him that uh, the reason why I couldn't bring the bodies along. I, like, slightly, like, slap you after every time. <laughs> <laughs> But in this, at this point, I'm kind of so, somewhat healthy enough. How heavy are the uh, little bugs? Um, they don't look particularly can... heavy. All right, and I start I carrying them to the one. pipe. Wait, do we take a long rest? You can take a short rest pretty easily. But um, easy go go. He does know that it's uh, considered unwise to, you know, sleep outside of the designated rest areas. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take a short rest. I can respect that. So if I take a short rest, do I have to do something with, like, hit points on a dice? Uh, with the, with yes, sort of dice? dice. Okay. okay, I don't know how to do that. I've never done that before. Uh, but I would like to take a short rest. It's, well, how, how many, is it? Oh, D10, okay. Yes, but you've already expended a few from the last short rest. Right. Ash, what did you say? So you, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you get five dice and and they replenish after you've taken a long rest, correct? Oh. Um, well, it's equal to your level, yeah. how many you have. Oh. Which I think we're like three, them right? Are restored after a long rest. Got it. Okay. And are we level three? No, no, no. Level seven. Oh, yeah, you made us. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was level. Okay, I was wondering. I was, at first, I was thinking, like, how am I level three, but with spells as a fighter? <laughs> so, four. That puts me at 41. So, can you do multiple for one short rest? Yes. Or just one? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can do as many as you want. Okay, I'm just going to do two. Four, so that's eight. So okay. Um, and then do you add anything to them, or is it just the straight? Them straight? Yes, you add your constitution modifier. So in your case, no. Oh, I think my constitution is zero. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm almost back in full health. I think I'm one off. So I use two. Okay. Forty-five. And that is. Go ahead, check that out. Damn. What's that? Oh, nice. Perfect. Um, so, wait, you guys are going to be taking a short rest, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, just 
Yeah. So ritual spells do not take up a spell slot, correct? Correct. Cool. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to cast alarm as a ritual from uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> also, Mr. Raven's on me, by the way. I think you have to correct that on the map. Uh, he flies back to you. And I... I did, in and... fact, bust out of that fight. Yeah. So, the only things that will not trigger it, will that will not trigger the alarm going off, will be if, for some reason, any of the four of us leave the, leave the area. So, wouldn't that be? Hey, wouldn't it be good to do a long rest then, if we have an alarm, even if we're um, in an, a non resting area? I'm pretty sure the alarm lasts for eight hours. Let me double check that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to be inside the chest to do it. To do the long rest? Yeah, it, or for, for the alarm to be of any use. We can't just be out in the open. Okay. Um, there is a hole. I did open up a hole in there, but it is for a 12-year-old child. So um, some people might have to crawl. Wait, how tall is Jojo, or Gogo? Uh, how tall did I make him? Um, five eleven. He he he's a tall boy, actually, especially tall for a drow. So there's me, who's like five two. Uh, I think Fitch is a halfling, right? Yeah. So it's just you. Like there's two like two children esque looking people from afar, and then um. So I uh, got yeah, six foot growl. So this is kind of funny. Like <laughs> yeah. this is a funny group of people. Oh, oh and also I, I'm a. Uh, it's yeah. We're gonna get some weird what interactions. A, I guarantee it. Yeah. What's a drow? Exactly. How do I get three twos with d sixes? Oh, that's not fun. Uh, another two. I just rolled a two. I just I, I rolled my d6 and I rolled a two as well. And that's kind of cool. Although I'd just like to point out that if you guys have been planning on taking a long rest, maybe you shouldn't have expended all your hit dice like that. I was thinking. I was just about to ask. Hey, can I take it back? <laughs> yeah, nope. Don't uh, take backs. Okay. Well, for taking a long rest. Well, I mean, oh, I get it. I get half them back. So. Try to sleep on the next floor. We might try to sleep, mm. or maybe. Uh, how much? How much health are you at, Drew? I mean, um, bitch. I have all the health. Oh, I have. I went from one to nine. Then I used one hit dice, which landed me at a six out of eight. So fifteen. Do you want do do you want my spell potion just to add some more on there to you? I mean my um my um health potion that I picked up from the uh, shop. That would help. And, and also, Chris, don't forget you have the Thanatos gem that could help heal you. Yeah, I know that. I was thinking about that, but I didn't want to drain anybody. Or you could try drinking the blood of these. Um, you know what, Drew? We're pieces. not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. Hmm? Oh yeah, Ash. Um, I guess your character doesn't know this, but um, Ditch does have a vampire bite, so that gives him some weird stuff. Ah, ah. I I may need to. I may ask you for some of that information uh, after after the session. Oh my. <laughs> for for my own desires. Yeah. Are you going anyway, to write a we're fanfic moved... about this? Huh? Are you going to write a fan fiction about this? And no, you need to know how the vampirism no. works? Oh, huh? no, 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 no. No. For also, reasons. in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm moving bodies towards the pipe. 
Okay. I help. So, I help. Um, let's see now. Wait, it's about eleven thirty now. How, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to get start fighting on the next floor, or uh, we could do the thing that we've done a few times, where um, I exposit what it is, and then you guys wait till next week, wondering what it's going to mean. I, I, I explained that badly, but sometimes what what we've done is you guys will just jump through the pipe. I tell you where you've mm -hmm. just landed, and then at the next session, you actually fight through it. I think that's the best idea because I want to see these centipede esque looking things fall, jump on top of them like a superhero, and then uh, look up into the faces of my uh, my foes. Okay, this is gonna work really well for where you're about to land. Oh shit. Okay, okay, so let's just wrap this up real quick. So, Ian, you guys aren't taking the big ones? We're going to um, do our darnest, and if not, yeah. we prepared to tie, divide them up into tiny pieces. Okay. You know what? These ones, you're, you're just going to shove them through with enough force. They eventually slide down. It's nice. you know, it's not like uh, in The Incredibles where, um, you know, he's being <laughs> yeah. dropped on the island. I know exactly what you're talking about. He's like looking at the guy. He's like, oh, I love that. I love that movie. Such a good movie. Okay. And you guys begin. Okay. And then you all dive through. Uh, yeah. As soon as they're all gone. gone. So, it's a me, it's a me. <laughs> and as you guys are falling, you land somewhere that begins to make you question, huh, maybe it was rude of us to drop bugs here. Because you're on the dining room table. You see oh. near you plates and cutlery. Uh, to clarify, it, it's very large. And you see on the other side of you are two giants. We brought you food. And they seem to look at you, and they seem to converse for a moment in a um very in, in a language you don't quite understand. Oh, I uh, think seems I know that giant. Of, um, oh, you speak giant? I think I, I have just, um, I... Skyhole has brought us more food offerings. Thank gosh. Okay, this is good. Which shall okay. we eat first? Mm, yes. Hmm, let us get the small one with the, um, with the, with the two hand axe looking knives. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey! We brought you a feast of bugs delicacy from where we are from. And they just start sh laughing mightily, and I guess that's where we're gonna call the session. Um, uh, uh... I, I lean. I, t I tell these guys. I tell Joe, Go Go, and um, also Fitz wait. And Mike. Question before before I we end the session. Yep. Is there alcohol on this table? Um, you know what? Actually, oh, yes, I like that. There's you see two goblets coming nearby, and I don't think most people would notice this over the smell of the bugs. But Chris, uh, Fitch is just so well versed with alcohol that he definitely smells wine off of them. <laughs> Why? Yes. Why the alcohol? <laughs> I've been your yeah. host and Dungeon Master Drew, and I'm being joined by... Bitch. And... G Gordon Flay, baby. And... A Ash, I'll sit on his easy cocoa. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.